so we finished our bricks and we're going to move on to mortaring. I'm using a Mike floor tile mortar, gray, and I'm putting that into a bucket. And instead of mixing it with water, I'm going to mix it with Mike polymer additive. It makes it a lot harder after it's dried and more weather, weather resistant. I'm using a hopper gun. This is a Texture Pro 200. It's what you would use if you were putting texture onto a wall. So I'm hooking that to my compressor and I loaded the hopper with my uh, mortar and I'm spraying. And I'm going to spray the entire surface of the tin. Top to bottom. It's important that the mortar mixture be very smooth or else you're going to get clogs. You're going to get some clogs anyway, but the smoother the better. There's a close-up. Now, because I don't like the texture that the hopper gun leaves on the surface of the foam, I'm smoothing out all of the flat surfaces with a trowel. Just doing all of the um, forward flat surfaces, smoothing them out a little bit. And here, I'm, there's always some small areas that get missed by the hopper. So I mix up um, some of my dry mortar with some of my polymer additive, and I make it the consistency of paint. And I then take a paintbrush and just paint it on any surface that still has some exposed foam. And this works really well because um, you're using that polymer additive, um, it's going to get just as hard as it would if it were sprayed on, but you get a much more um, accurate coverage. I'm doing the underside of some of the ledges there. Any area that gets missed by the hopper, especially around the letters up there in the epitaph. Those are hard to get. Okay, so after that is dried, I'm using my paved floor and wall mortar, the color is white, and I'm using a trowel to dry brush across the entire surface of the tomb. Um, I say dry brush because I'm not making solid coverage with the mortar, I'm just putting a little bit on my trowel and then lightly pulling down, and um, the effect that it gives it is kind of like a, a crumbling plaster or a concrete surface, and it looks really cool when it's finished. And I'm going to do this over the entire surface of the um, of the tomb. I'm doing small areas, just in in ways that I think the plaster would have crumbled off of the tomb. Again, this is a white mica floor and tile mortar. Now I'm going to do a little bit of distressing. I'm using a spray bottle to wet down the surface, and then I'm using watered down black paint. And then I'm spraying it again to get that paint to run and look like water damage. So there's the water. Now my watered down paint, and I hit it with the water again. It makes that paint run. And that's pretty much it. I'm just distressing lightly over the whole surface. Coming up, you'll find a list of all of the products that I've talked about and used in this tutorial.